Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today is the beginning of a solo Polaris series and in this video we will start off get our base ready, a ton of PvP and getting quite a ton of loot. If you guys want parts where in that one we continue with watch more chaos, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. In the last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and contact me over there. Today we're going through another one which is a bubbling sombrero. To win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Show members also have a higher chance of winning. Before we dive into the video, I want to introduce you to today's fantastic sponsor. Are you trying to start your own unturned network, whether it's for survival roleplay or simply to create a private server for you and your friends? Then look no further than Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting makes setting up your server very easy, offering high performance and a user-friendly interface that's easy to learn. When I first started into hosting my own network, I was pretty clueless, but thanks to Pine Hosting's navigation, I learned the basics in a very short time. With server locations scattered across the globe, their pricing is quite cheap too. What's more is that Pine Hosting caters to a variety of games including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. One standout feature is the ability to install plugins and mods with just a single click. Already have a server with another provider? No worries, I'll provide personalized assistance to migrate your server seamlessly. If you're ready to start your own unturned server, don't miss the link in the video description below and be sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, so I just joined in Polaris. Now as soon as you join on the server, they always give you a crazy. We're gonna be solo, we're gonna try to get ourselves a good run. Now today I actually have a plan. I went on single player to test this out, but there are a lot of small islands all across Polaris. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try to take one over today. We're going to go solo. We're gonna build a base on an island and just live over there. There's a naked here, we gotta kill him. But yeah, he's not gonna have anything. My guy had a compass and a bunch of scrapped clothes. I hear shots. Oh yeah, so the server is normal loot. Each zombie drops one item. So it's not gonna be that easy to actually gain high tier loot. Obviously, we're gonna start off with getting as much items as possible before we start building the base. I do need to get myself an axe or something like that. Get myself as much loot as possible. But yeah, for this server, I do have a checklist of what I want to do. First of all, I want to finish as much quest as possible. Living on an island, we're going to try to do different tactics to actually getting loot. Which one of them is actually, believe it or not, will be fishing. On Polaris, you can get a lot of good items with fishing. Obviously, some expensive fish can give you a lot of money, and with that money, we can buy items that we need such as guns and other materials that we, we may need basically and the server is quite populated actually there's a lot of people on so we gotta be very careful that the island that we pick isn't already built on i want a fresh island hopefully there is one the good thing about it is that almost all islands are outside of the map of the map border so people won't really get to search those for raids and we get ourselves a vest let's go all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go behind the bridge area i do think that there is an island which can't even be seen from over here. The only reason for people to go there is to probably build a base. Now if this base survives more than 24 hours, it's a miracle. I'll definitely be able to test it. Right, so over here there's a little mine, so I think I'm gonna loot it really quickly. Should get as much metal. I think it's actually already looted. No, 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 it's not. There we go, we got ourselves a pickaxe. I'm gonna pick up as much metal as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mine a little bit. Just enough for me to have a door, maybe a locker. We also do need enough cloth to make a bed. Yeah, some tape, some rope, another metal scrap. There we go, we got ourselves a bunch of more metal. Right, now I think I'm gonna start looking around for an island, actually. We're gonna go to the very north side of the map. I think there's one island that's perfect. Oh, it's a dead zone, I didn't even know. But yeah, I do think there's an island that is perfect because it's close to a safe zone entrance. And with a safe zone entrance on Polaris, we can literally teleport to all sides of the map. Alright, so another tactic that I have is this server allows two beds per player. So what I did is I placed a bed here. We can always teleport away from the island since it's gonna be a bit far away. And then we could just do mine runs over here. This is a military checkpoint as well. But over here I'm pretty sure also that penguin spawns Reginald, which is good for quests. I'm pretty sure if we finish that quest we get a Brenter, which is the only raiding weapon on this map. And over here I'm also pretty sure that you can get mercenary helmet and the vest. And there's also a few bases here actually. Yeah, we got the helmet and the vest and the saw. We can chop trees down now. Yeah, but I think these are already raided. Yeah, they already are. There's an unclaimed bed. And then here, this part is not raided, but I think it's just pumping jet. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to swim by the border until we find the island that I want to live on. Alright, so I've managed to arrive finally to the island that I want to go on and uh, yeah, it seems like it's completely untouched. Over here there's a little hill which we can build behind it. It'll be basically hidden. There's a few trees too so that we can use them for our 
resources to build. Yeah, there's no bases here. Perfect. It's great. All right, so now I'm just gonna start chopping down as much trees as possible, build a little base. For now, I'm not gonna build anything massive. Probably something like a 1x2 or even a 1x1 until I get myself an axe. Actually, we can buy stuff. Yeah, I just bought myself a drill. The little money that I had, I'm just gonna spend it for a drill. Oh, yeah, so I'm just gonna get as much as possible. Build a little base. After that, we'll go to our other home and we'll start doing some Lutrons. Hopefully get high tier load and not dying. Alright, so we're gonna place it right next to the water. I'm gonna do a 2 by one for now. Let's unstack all of this wood. I probably don't even have enough to do a full 2 by 2 so I'll probably just have to get myself enough for some storage as well. But yeah, I do think that this location, nobody really goes here. I do think it's away from all the PvP, so hopefully this base will last more than a day. Get ourselves a few walls. Yeah, we could put the doorway at the very, very edge. Get ourselves some roofs. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough, so I'm just gonna close this off for now. And then once we get more wood, maybe more metal, then we'll continue to upgrade it. Let's get ourselves a door, we'll put that there. And our base is completely secured. I think I can make myself a locker, actually. Yep, we have enough. Let's put that there. Let's put all the junk that we don't want to lose, such as the drill. We can salvage this pickaxe. And I'm gonna need to make my... Yeah, I already have another bed. Let's put that there. And our base, our island base is done. So next, we'll start doing some loot runs. I don't think I'm gonna run around with the mercenary clothes, though. I don't really want to lose the only set that I have. Alright, I see a guy. I think he's not alone, though. But I'm gonna still chase him down. And try to kill him. He doesn't He doesn't know about me. And he seems quite geared, so this kill can actually be huge. Yeah, he's just... Yeah, he's completely clueless. He can't hear me. I'm actually gonna follow them. Maybe they'll lead me to their base or something like that. Yep, he is still clueless. Oh, there's a barn here. Oh, this may be their base. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. I, I don't want him to go inside and I just lose all of his loot. Yeah, he's geared. Mercenary backpack. There's a lot of a lot of shots going on. May have been his teammate or something like that. All right, well, I got myself a fully decked out Prizzy. Got myself a mercenary backpack too. He almost got a full mercenary outfit. All we need is the shirt and the pants. Even though I have them on me right now. And there's still some shots going on. I don't know if I should leave or should I stick around and try to get another kill. And get even more loot. Let's reload. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Oh, I got shot. Oh, he's sniping. Nah, I'm getting out of here. I have no idea where he is. I'm gonna dip. Oh, he's right there. I, I don't think he saw me though. Oh, there's multiple people then. There's two guys for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna run away. I hope that they don't follow me. I don't wanna risk it, man. I do have a full inventory already anyway. Yeah, this may be their base. I oh, already found ourselves a live base then. On our first run. Yeah, I'm gonna run back to base. Get myself another full outfit. A bunch of cloth at least. Alright, so I'm over at military base. Didn't see anyone yet, which is a miracle. Trying to get as much items as possible. Or is that like a zombie too, actually? You know, I'm gonna kill him really quickly. There go, he's dead. And military drive. Alright, we could just put that in right now. So that's secure. Yeah, military is completely unlooted on a full moon. Alright, well, somebody actually did loot that one. After I loot here, I'm gonna home and I'm gonna depot everything that I've got. They got myself some good items, some extra guns. Accidentally salvaged the parachute. Ourselves a can as well. Not too bad. There's a lot of PvP going on around here. There's a group versus group for sure. He's right there. Oh, I screwed up. Yeah, I'm dead. I screwed up heavily there. Oh, well, well, we just lost ourselves. Kind of loot, sadly. I did vault that guy's mercenary backpack and his gun, though. But it's okay. We died. Let's just try to go again. There's a lot of shots going on here. I think that's a shotgun, yeah. Bro, everywhere I go, I just hear a lot of shots. I'm gonna try to make a play. They all seem quite geared. There's a guy right here. Oh my god, I missed the jump. Oh, he didn't see me though. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, he's dead. I'm getting shot at still. Let's pick up his load. He's a bit far away, so I can take his load. I'm gonna try to... He had a rattlesnake shotgun. I'm gonna run back and med. Guy, bro. Hit him. Oh, he's so low. I'm gonna push. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, how the hell did he not kill me? Oh, he has full military. I'm gonna get out of here, man. There's so many people. Let's get inside. Ah, oh, there's another dude. Bro, I died. Oh my god, I got in, but I still died, man. What is this? Bro, there's no way I died to lag or something like that, man. Alright, second death. Let's just go again. We can't give up. 
Bro, I can't kill anyone, man. I'm just getting a gun and then I'm just getting destroyed by anyone. This is honestly impossible, man. This is so hard. Why am I finding it so hard? I mean, the fact that everybody is in a group and the fact that I'm alone on a one times loot survey is already annoying. There's a base here. There's a locker. I heard shots. I'm gonna go try to go with this mini shotgun. Probably doesn't even give any damage, to be honest, but we'll give it a try. Bro, we haven't secured any loot this whole time, except for the items that we had when we built the base and the items in my vault. There's guys right over there, and I need to literally be right in front of them to actually damage them. There's another dude. There's two guys. Oh, this zombie's gonna screw me over, man. He's gonna come over here. I hope he pushes where I am. No, he's not. He's going around here. I'm gonna try to kill him. He does seem quite geared. He's right inside. I'm gonna push. When he saw me, hit him. Hit him again. Three shotgun shots. And he has a death vector. Two of them, actually. Let's clear out all the zombies. I don't know where his body is. He's right there. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Bro, I ran out of ammo. Oh my god, I'm... Bro, I just keep dying, man. I'm having a terrible start. I kill one, there's another dude. And then I run out of ammo. I don't know if I should stop and just try to focus a bit on base. We got ourselves an easy radio. What? Okay, well, I think it was damaged. I don't know if I should take a break from actually trying to get loot and go build. Or if I should keep trying and keep going. Alright, boy, so I did manage to make it back with quite a ton of loot. Got industrial copper coil, which is pretty nice. Did also empty the vault and put the items here. I got myself shotgun, full military outfit. Here's shots going on over at the town. So we're gonna go over there with my shotgun. This can only go horribly wrong, honestly, with just a shotgun. Penguins spawning on this island, so... There's literally nothing on this island. No barrels, nothing. It's just a dead island. There's shots. Very, 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 very close. I think they're literally right next to the lighthouse. Yeah, there's people with shotguns as well. Oh, there's a guy right here! Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, well, we got ourselves an easy crazy met kit. I don't know why he stopped shooting me. I don't know if I should go home and deposit this crazy. Or if I should try to kill another person. Oh, there's a guy right here. What? He's a very sneaky boy. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go deposit this gun. So I'm gonna talk, go on top of the lighthouse. I got a gun with a scope. Spent all of my savings on this. And I'm just gonna camp up here, try to get kills. There's a guy right there. Hit him. Just a lot of people hit him again. There we go, he's dead. Oh, there's a guy right- Oh, he's geared! Oh, I ran out of ammo. Oh my god, he has PMC and everything. Bro, this is terrible. I'm literally having the worst start ever. I'm barely depositing any guns. I'm just losing everything. Oh, there's a guy coming. Oh, he TP'd his buddy. One guy dead. Another dead. There's still the third guy, and I still hear people walking on water. I'm gonna try to- Oh yeah, he's geared as hell. I'm getting shot at. Oh, and... Bro, there's just too many people, man. I killed two. There was the third naked. There was a guy under the water, and then the guy that killed me. There are five people around me there. And the guy was super geared, so man, if only I try to get away with it, I would have gotten it. Usually I don't really have this much of a challenge with actually getting gloat quickly, but today is just, it's unlucky. Everywhere I go, I can't get a gun because there's people, but at least we have a sick base location. Oh, there's a guy behind me. I'm gonna push up, hit him, hit him again, there we go, he's dead. I had a crazy, fully decked out, bro. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm gonna vault this instantly. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die in the next five minutes. And I would just lose everything again. Alright boys, back from a pretty successful run. Did get myself a bunch of tape and rope from that. Another gun. I'm gonna keep that here though. We're gonna need some more storage. Actually, I don't know if I should run around with this gun. Let's put the magazine in it because it was empty. Because that PMC guy that killed me over at the lighthouse, he didn't even bother to take my walnut. So we got it back. We got one cotton wool as well. Still gonna run around with the shotgun probably. Shotgun and crazy could be a pretty good door run, but I'm gonna keep it here because I don't wanna lose two guns instantly. Just in case we die. So it's a few meds. And let's go to home number one. Could do a little mining run over there. There's an airdrop passing by. Oh, there's people. He's dead, bro. He's PMC. Oh, there's another guy. I'm gonna die. Yep. My guy wasted 50 billion magazines on me. 
Oh, that guy is in a group as well. Alright, well... I don't know if I should try again. They're a duo for sure. Probably more. Oh, I went to the wrong bed. I'm gonna give it a try. Try to kill him. If I do kill him, then I'll get PMC clothes and everything. I gotta wait to home. If I don't kill him, though, I lose myself a pretty nice decked out gun. I'm gonna drop these just in case I can open vault quickly and deposit their stuff there. But I honestly don't know. I can't get myself a good run when it comes to PvP. I'm just killing a bunch of barely geared players and that's it. Oh, I think they're inside the mines. Yeah, they're mining. Oh, yeah, one of them is right here. Yeah, this is the guy that I killed. The other dude is down there still. I'm gonna try to kill him, actually. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. Alright, never mind. They are three. Are three full gears. I just lost myself. Oh, they're gone. Alright, boys. So I managed to get myself an industrial wooden crate. Now we don't really have to worry about space. They get myself a pretty another nice run. Got myself a few more ammo, junk, attachments, some paint buckets. And I got myself some sniper. Don't even know what it is. We still have another log. I'll keep these here and we'll go do a few more runs. I really want to get myself a good run. Alright, there we go. Got ourselves another kill. Hit a Thompson. Nothing too good. Alright boys, so we're gonna go for our first save zone run. I'm gonna try to get as much quests as possible, finish the very easy ones. Yeah, we can't do these yet. I'm pretty sure. Let's get ourselves the first quest for the carrots. At some point I also do want to start a farm in our base. But we'll focus on that much, much later. Yeah, this quest can also be easily done. Let's start depositing the money that we have. Let's get ourselves the first quest from this dude for Observer. Let's also get ourselves the fishing rod. Pretty sure we can buy the, the first one, yeah. And then to upgrade it, we just need a few wood. And then we'll get ourselves the heights here fishing rod. We can get ourselves some pretty good items from it. Let's get all of the money out. We could buy it. Let's buy one. Let's go. Yeah, pretty sure for the next one, yeah. We just need a wooden fishing rod. We just need wood for it, man. That's it. Remember correctly, wood does spawn somewhere around here. We also should get this night vision up here. Some shots going on very close take this wood yeah we need one more actually no we already had there we go we have the height here fishing rod so soon we can actually start fishing a bit by base and we have night vision as well all right yeah we got everything that we need from the safe zone then all right boys it's fishing time let's get ourselves some good loot we can get actually decent stuff from this if we get lotuses or gauze mask parts or something like that then that would be that would be incredible Alright, we're back in the safe zone. So first of all, I got myself a wooden lockbox, which you can actually get some good items from there. I kind of forgot how to do... Oh, it's still in vault, that's why. Yeah, we gotta talk to this dude and we're gonna get ourselves random items. Here we got ourselves a SWAT shirt, some gun, a large box. Now we got ourselves a lot of fish as well. A lot of high tier, expensive fish. We also got ourselves a broken mo gas mask. We got jackhammer, I'm pretty sure. So got a fishing quest ready. Now we could sell all of these. We have a lot of money now. We could literally buy so much items. You can buy guns and everything. Yeah, you could you could see how much items you can get. I fished for 15 items, and from those 15 items, I got this amount of loot. Yeah, I can gonna get myself a blow church. We don't have one. As for this dude, we can buy ourselves some seeds for the farm. Let's just get one for now. And with that one seed. We're gonna farm a lot of uh, money as well. And we still have 1.2k left, which is actually quite a lot, considering uh, I got it just from fishing. Okay, so we also did finish off the 2x1 base. We have two metal walls, and we're gonna head off for day one. Day one, got ourselves pretty good loot. I'm gonna log off with all of the loot in my inventory. Even though on this server, if you log off somewhere, your body will stay there, so... If we get raided and our body is inside, then we would still basically lose everything. I voted the high tier loads, broken gas mask, copper, and let's just hope our base survives for another day. Alright, we're hopping back on. Let's hope we got... Let's hope our base didn't get raided offline, man. 
It's been like 10 hours since I joined. Yeah, base is still fine. Oh, that's go. Perfect. Literally still completely untouched. Nobody knows about this base. All right, well, day two. Just hopped on. Let's hope today we get ourselves a better day than yesterday. I mean, yesterday, in an hour and a half, we got this much loot. One normal loot, one times. Still not too bad, especially as a solo. Could have been much, much worse. All right, so today, we're gonna continue to try to do what we left off doing yesterday. Running around, trying to get PvP. Trying to get loot just from PvP. And hopefully, we don't just get completely crushed. Today, we'll probably do some dead zone runs as well. We just need to get some lotuses since we already have the broken gas mask from fishing. I wanna check if, uh, yeah, our other bed it got destroyed. No problem, I'll just have to do another bed somewhere close. There's a kit that gives you clothes, and with it, we can make a bed. Lovely. There's a guy here. He's dead. Seems kind of geared. There's people speaking close. Ourselves military backpack. There's people in a car. They're driving away. Yeah, they're literally just going away. I still hear them speaking in game. Oh my god, I fell. They're all screaming. What's going on? Like three guys in a car. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot from here though. They would just destroy me. There's also a lease bag. That's pretty nice. If we get Bevlar, that's an easy mercenary backpack. Oh, there's a lot of shots going on around here. I'm just here with a Tommy gun. I home depot all of that. Oh, there's so many. There's so much loot on the floor. There's a guy there. Bro, oh, there's so much loot over here. Let's kill this dude. A PMC vest. Oh, there's a car coming. I think it's that trio. Yeah, I'm getting out of here, bro. Let's kill these zombies. Picking up as much loot as possible. Bro, there's penumbras and everything being shot. Oh, they're... I heard them. I see what loot we got. Okay, I didn't really actually get that much. For myself, Kinney, some modded sniper. Crazy. Some cans. Oh, we actually got a few cans. Generators. Goss. Yeah, we didn't get that much. Ourselves a PMC vest though. I mean, I'll take that. I'm playing with that. The generators are good for horde beacons, so that's also pretty okay. There are three generators. I'm gonna go back and see if they're still there. I thought I picked up way more items, but it's fine. PMC vest is pretty good. Alright, so I'm back. I'm picking up all the scraps. I think they left. There's a bunch of guns, a bunch of stuff we can salvage, a bunch of ammo. See the guy that I killed if there's anything still around, but not really anything that good. I still have a bunch of ammo for my gun, though. Alright, everybody, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now, from episode 2, our luck changes completely around. We literally start barely dying and actually getting ourselves a lot of loot from PvPing. We start doing raiding. We start going deep into bases. So, if you guys are excited for episode 2, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.